<sighs> what up y'all so whoo it's hot steam ain't on no more thank god but it's still hot still it's still hot anyway i've been in the house all day relaxing Ain't been doing much. Ordered some pizza for the house. We all had pizza. Today is my last day, y'all. The last day tomorrow I'm going. I'm dieting because I gained some weight, y'all. As y'all can see, I gained weight. I don't know. Maybe y'all haven't been able to tell because, you know, I've been big for a long time. So maybe y'all haven't been able to tell the couple of pounds that I lost, y'all. But I have gained a couple of pounds. So... Uh, since I had my uh, gastric sleeve surgery, the smallest I got was only 238. So now I stepped on a scale yesterday, I'm 254, right? So I'm upset about that. So tomorrow, Monday, I will be going on a diet. You know what? Actually, my, my husband's having surgery Wednesday. So actually, this is going to help me out a little bit because... He can't eat certain things. So because he can't eat certain things, I'm not going to be eating certain things. So this way he don't, you know, feel left out or whatever. Plus, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have ate around him anyway, especially if I was going to have pizza or ice cream or anything like that. But this will give me a kickstart into me dieting and working out and stuff like that because he can't have certain things. So I'm going to I'm going to, you know, do this with him. So that'll push me. And then once he's able to eat, I'll already be in that mindset to where, you know, I'm not eating these certain things. So I bought a whole bunch of soups, y'all. Um, well, the soups, honestly, I bought for when I was going to have my surgery. But as y'all all know, I didn't have my surgery. And my doctor still hasn't called me to reschedule. And I'm pissed off about that. Somebody from his office called me last week and said that the doctor was going to be calling me to reschedule my surgery, I still haven't heard anything. So I'm pissed off. The doctor is only in his office in Harlem at the Harlem Hospital. I don't know where else he works at, but I know he works in Harlem Hospital on Wednesdays. Wednesday, I'm calling him and I'm gonna, we're gonna talk because this is ridiculous. And I'm at the point to where I don't wanna do any surgery with him. I done heard so much good stuff about his work so much good stuff about his work and that's why i want to you know have surgery with him but i don't like a lot of these doctors get arrogant and they feel like because they have a reputation of doing really good work they could just put you off put you to the side don't have to call you don't you know they could give you their ass to kiss and i'm not about that life so i'm gonna call her and i'm like look what's what's going on if you don't want to do the surgery, just say you don't want to do the surgery and I will find somebody else. The only reason why I'm trying to stick this out is because I done did all the work I needed to do for three months. I've been going back and forth to the doctors, getting blood work done, running to this doctor, running to that doctor, colonoscopy, chest x-ray, EKGs, blood work. I done did all this stuff with him. I don't want to have to go and do this all over again with somebody else because that's another three months of all of this stuff when I already... Everything that I've done is already on record, already in his computer. All he has to do, and I was approved for the surgery by my insurance. So all I have to do is get him to reschedule. That's the only reason, because I know a lot of y'all are going to say, girl, I will find somebody else. But when I tell you for three months, all this running around, blood work from this doctor to this doctor to that doctor, the EKGs and all this here stuff and, and, and colonoscopy. Come on, colonoscopy? Come on, now y'all already know. They put you to sleep. You know, with the anesthesia, they go all up in your rectum and all of this and that. They do all of this stuff. You have to drink this stuff to clean out your system. And you, you're on the toilet all day long. All this, I don't want to have to do all of that all over again. That's the only reason. Because I would have been left. Believe me. I would have been left. But anyway. I don't know. I don't even know how I got on this story. Oh, yes I do. Because my husband's having his surgery and I'm not having mine. Because I was having my surgery, I bought all of these soups because I said that if I was gonna, if I was having, um, I was having tummy tuck surgery. So I said I did not want to be eating solid foods 
after this tummy tuck surgery because I've heard horror stories about how when you're constipated, you can't use your muscle to, to, to like push anything out because it hurts so bad because you know, you having the diastasis where they're closing up the muscles in your stomach and then your stomach is really tight. So it's really painful to even cough. So I was like, yo, I'm not trying. So if, if I ate, I would have to pass my bowels. And they said that the medicine they give you, give you, it makes you constipated. So now I'm dealing with diastasis. My stomach is stretched. I'm bent over. And now I am constipated and now I have to pass my bowel. So that means I have to squeeze. So I said, you know what? I'm not doing none of this. I'm, I'm going to empty my bowels like two days before my surgery. I'm cleaning my system out. I'm going to take a laxative. I'm going to clean myself out. And then I'm going on a juice diet while I'm recuperating from the surgery. I'm drinking juice. I'm drinking smoothies. And I'm drinking soup, liquid soup. I'm not drinking. I'm not eating no soup with noodles and stuff like that. It's going to be like tomato soup, uh, green pea soup, stuff like that. Liquid. Because I don't want to have to be pushing out no hard crap. But anyway, so because I have all of those soups um, and I didn't have the surgery, when my husband comes home, he can have that. You know what I'm saying? So because he won't be able to eat any solid food, I don't want him seeing me eating any solid food. So, and then he starts, because my husband is one of those type of people where if he sees you eating something, he's going to want it. Because when we both, we both had to sleep. We both had to sleep the same day. He had his in the morning. I had mine. Well, we both had ours in the morning, but his surgery was seven o'clock in the morning. Mine was 11 o'clock in the morning. We both had, was on the same floor. He was like two doors down from me. They didn't put us in the same room because, you know, they wanted to put women with women, men with men like that. So we was like two doors down from each other. So every day he would come to my room. Um, and stuff like that. But when we got home, we was told we couldn't eat for at least a month or at least until after we saw the doctor and the doctor gave us the okay to go on pureed food. You know what I'm saying? And he got home. I think it was like two days after we got home, he saw my daughter and my son-in-law eating um, mashed potatoes because I had cooked dinner. I had made steak, um, steak smothered in gravy and fresh string beans and mashed potatoes. So, see, I'm one of those type of people where if I know I'm not supposed to do something that is ordered by the doctor, I'm not doing it. Especially if I know that it can affect me and make me sick. So the doctor told us that eating any solid foods or anything like that right after surgery, because the stomach ain't used to it no more. So we got to get our stomach used to eating solids again. So... I'm not doing it. But we came home two days after we came home and I, I cooked dinner. He was like, how is it that it doesn't bother you? I said, because I know I'm not supposed to have it. And I know what the doctor said, that we can wind up in a lot of pain back in the hospital and have to have our surgery redone or anything like that. So I'm not doing anything that's going to cause me to wind up back in the hospital. So it's okay for me. I have no problem cooking for them and overlooking it. Plus, I was only able to drink like this much of broth anyway, clear broth. I drank that much, y'all, no lie. We, we, y'all know the cups that comes with, um, when you get NyQuil and have the little cups? I could, that's what we was, um, um, drinking, um, broth out of, clear broth. And I couldn't even get a full one of those cups. I couldn't even get a full one. It was like halfway and I, you, you, we had to sip it because the doctor said for us to sip, take little sips. I couldn't even finish. I was full. After like three sips, I was full. So he saw me cooking. He was like, oh, I'm getting some. Fuck that. I'm getting some. And I said, babe, don't eat that. The doctor said, this. no, but how, that's not fair. They coming back and forth through here with pizza and stuff. You making steak and mashed potatoes. I said, first of all, you don't even eat steak. So what do you care? Yeah, but I eat mashed potatoes. I said, yeah, but you have to, you have to uh, 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 set it in your mind that it's not there or you don't care or whatever. He was, no, fuck that. I'm eating some mashed potatoes. I'm eating some mashed potatoes. And I kept telling him, don't, don't, don't. He, uh, he was so 
uh, uh, adamant about he's eating these mashed potatoes. So the little cup that we was um, drinking um, broth out of, he went and took it. He went and got a spoon and he filled it up with mashed potatoes and put a tiny little bit of gravy on the top. Y'all, I'm telling you, when I tell you the cup was tiny, he ate that and it, he made, it made him feel so good that he was able to have something other than um, clear broth. Because the clear broth that we had had no taste to it and nothing like that. It was just something to put in our stomach. When I tell you about an hour later, he was bent over in pain, sweating bullets. He was in so much pain. His stomach was cramping up so bad. He was throwing up. He had really bad pains in his stomach and he was rolling around and we couldn't even give him anything because we had just had surgery so he couldn't take anything. When I tell you, after that day, he wasn't eating nothing but broth after that. He learned his lesson and I told him, I said, see, a hard head makes a soft ass. You wasn't supposed to have it. The doctor told you. He performs these surgeries all the time. He's telling you that you have a new stomach now. You can't just start throwing food in it. You have to gradually get your stomach used to eating these certain things. He don't want to listen, so he paid for it. I remember that because he was in here. I mean, when I tell y'all that he was in here throwing up, you hear him in the back. I swear, it sounded like he was throwing up a kidney. But I was sitting here like, mm-hmm, drinking my broth like, mm-hmm. <sighs> Pity. It's sad. It's sad. I ain't feel sorry for him because he, he knew and he knew what could happen and he did it anyway. So it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, long story, very long story short, I got a, what is this? What is this? Telecent or Telecent? A smart tracking pan, pan tilt. That's what it says. Smart tracking pan tilt. Y'all see that? So basically what this does is, um, I got it like a few days ago, but I didn't, I'm, I'm just opening it now with y'all. My nails are not really sharp. Okay. It's coming. All right, so what this does is it tracks your movement. So basically, if I'm doing a video, right, if I'm doing a video, I can be standing there. Like, you know how uh, us as um, content creators, what, God, I'm sweating bullets up here. As content creators, you know, we do videos. A lot of times we holding our phone in our hands and we're talking and we're moving around. With this, you don't have to do all of that because what it does is, this is all it comes with. Just this and the booklet telling you a little bit about it. See, nothing in the box. That's all it is. I would have thought it would have came with something else, but this is it. So basically, this is it. Basically, I put... I could put my phone here. I could set my phone on top of this or my camera and I set it and what it does is it tracks me like my movement. So basically if I'm doing a video and I walk this way, it's going to turn the camera facing me. It's going to follow my every movement. One of these days, I'm gonna show you, like right now, I'm, oh, good gracious, man. What the hell? The heat, the heat is on, but it's not steaming like it was the other day, but I'm like, I feel like I'm in the middle of fire or something. God, jeez, whoa, good gracious. Anyway. So, oh my God. So anyway. When I'm doing videos and stuff like that, I can literally be moving around and the camera is following my every movement. And I love that because, you know, a lot of times when, you know, you're doing, you're doing a video, right? Sometimes you have to walk away from the camera. You don't really want to, but you have to walk away from the camera. 
this way I don't have to walk away from the camera it can follow me to where this way y'all can see everything that I'm doing while I'm doing it instead of me walking away from the camera and all you're seeing is the background until I come back so that's why I got this and I can't wait to use it actually but I'm gonna be doing some workout videos in my living room and I will be using this to track my movements and stuff like that because I was like I said I was gonna join a gym but uh, honestly I don't know how I would be able to do that because I watched my grandson during the week and um, even though the gym is right around the corner from me uh, you know these streets is dangerous y'all and the gym don't close until 12 but my daughter don't get off of work till 9 she don't reach home till about 9 45 so I would have to be going to the gym after she gets home. So from 9.45 to 12 o'clock, it gives me a little over two hours to work out, but then I would have to walk around there at night. And this neighborhood is not the safest neighborhood. You know, I mean, I know everybody around here because I've been here, I've been living in, on, in this neighborhood for about 18 years. So I know everybody, but it's still not safe. You know what I'm saying? It, all it takes is one time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not I'm not liking those odds. That one percent is not good enough for me. So I and not only that, like I said, the only time I can see myself going to the gym is either after when my daughter gets home or the weekends. And I don't want to join a membership to only be able to go at late at night or on the weekends, two days out of the week. To me, that's a waste of, of gym ship mem I mean a uh, membership. It's a waste of money because I'm only going there two days out of the week. So the, the whole week, I'm not at the gym. I'm home. So I'm, I'm, you know, I started thinking, like, what sense do it make to be working out a full week at home and then go to the gym two days out of the week? And I'm paying a membership for only two days and then working out a week at home. So I might as well just continue working out at home. Right? So anyway, that's what I got. Y'all, this, this really is going to come in handy because like I said, there are times where I'm doing videos and I have to walk away from the camera and all you'll see is this. You know what I'm saying? Well, however long I'm walking away from the camera and I might not even be that far from the camera. I might have had to pick up something off my fireplace over here something like that it can zoom in and follow me so I don't have to miss out or y'all don't have to miss out on what I'm doing so anyway that's what I wanted to show y'all <laughs> let me see let me look in this <laughs> booklet see if there's anything else about this device that I haven't said so far and I got this off of Amazon. It's called Telesen. Telesen? It's either Telesen or Telesen. T-E-L-E-S-I-N. Look that up on Amazon, y'all. It's Telesen Smart Tracking Pan Tilt. So, let's see. And I'm assuming that this is either... Chinese or Japanese writing. So let me see if they have it in English. Yes, introduction. Smart tracking pan tilt is a pan tilt with tracking functions. The built-in camera module combined with, what is that? With Al chip, uh, human, what? Humanoid recognition. Al Algorithm, oh gosh, that with Al Chip humanoid uh, recognition algorithm makes the front of the pan tilt always point at the humanoid target. Besides that, you can also use the remote control to control it. Um, unless, hold on.
So hold on, I'm looking. Remote controls, indicator light, turn left. Wait, hold on. Hold up. Uh-uh. Unless I'm missing something, unless it's on here somewhere. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see something. Because I'm see, I'm showing it's showing on here a remote control. And I don't there's no remote control in that box. There's a USB-C charging port, a power button, rotary locking platform, a tracking status indicator, power indicator, camera module, rotary base. Now hold on, indicator light, Turn left and I'm looking at I'm trying to see because I'm I i do not want to be wrong about this. I'm trying to see um Because I'm trying to see where it says what it comes with. Because if this is supposed to come with a, if this is supposed to come with a remote, then they're going to have to, I'm going to have to send this back. Because this did not come with a remote control. Because it says, besides that, you can also use it with the remote control. But see, the thing is, it's not saying that it comes with a remote control or you can use your remote control that for your that you use for your camera. You know what I'm saying? Or your phone. So I'm not sure if they're saying that if you have a, a cell phone with a remote control or a camera with a remote control, it can also be used for this. It's just saying you can also use it with your remote control. So if if that's the case, then uh, uh they're gonna have to they're gonna have to give send this back and cause see see it's showing see that on the box where it's showing a remote control. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be a remote control with it, and I'm not seeing it. But it has a 360, um, it has a 360 turn. See, it says remote control. I think it's supposed to come with a remote control. See, now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed because I don't like this. So when they packed it, they forgot to put the remote control in here with it. All right, so now I'm gonna have to send this back because what? I'm pissed off now because, man, I hate that, I hate that. I hate when you order something, you spend your money on something, and then you don't get what you're supposed to get. And this is how it came. Everything was closed up in this box. So now I'm mad. It's 
because now I'm going to have to go to Amazon. I'm going to have to write a review. Curse the motherfuckers out. Tell them I ain't get my all my shit. All my shit wasn't packed up in, in the box. And they're going to either have to um, reimburse me or send me another one with the remote. And I'll just have to send this back because... All right. All right. I'm mad. Okay. So that's all I have for y'all today. Man, I'm going to give y'all a follow up on this situation because I'm really pissed off. And because um, I wanted to, I really wanted to start using it, you know, right away. You know what I'm saying? So now I have to wait until they send me another one. Because I'm not going to use this. Oh. Man. Anyway, y'all. I got to go. So I, gotta, I really got to go in there and um, have them... You know, write a review on this. Have them send me out another one because this is bull crap. All right. So anyway, y'all, I'm out. Till I see y'all again. Till I speak to y'all again. Be blessed. Stay blessed, y'all. Hit the notification bell so you always know when I have a video coming. Like, subscribe, share me out with your family and friends. You know what to do. Y'all been here with me for a while now. Those of y'all that's been rocking with me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I am not going to say I love y'all because I don't know y'all like that, but I like y'all a lot. Okay? I like y'all a lot. From the conversations I've had with y'all in my comment um, section, uh, y'all all seem like really good people and I like that. You know, you're all very gracious and very, um, basically very nice people and I like y'all. I'm not going to, like, I hear a lot of people say, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I, I, I like y'all a lot. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I love you because I don't know you like that to say I love you, but I like you from what I see, what I hear of y'all, you know, the, 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 the compliments and the graciousness and the helpful tips and, and you know what I'm saying? The, the, a lot of y'all give me a pat on the back when I be saying things that I want to do as far as weight loss and all of that. And I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not getting out the right words, y'all. The words is not coming. You know what I'm saying? They're right there at the tip of my tongue, but I'm not getting it out. You know what I want to say. <sighs> anyway, I like y'all. But anyway, and I hope y'all like me back. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go. I'm going to curse these people out, you know, and then I'll let y'all know down the line what happened, what happened. If they sent me, if they send me out a new one, I'm going to, I'm going to show it to y'all. And if I get my money back, I'll just be buying a one, another one of these, but from somewhere else. Okay. But either way, I'm, Either way it goes, I'm going to let y'all know. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go. Let me go handle this, and I will talk to y'all on another one. All right? Peace.